up, people? Welcome to Sandra TV News. It's your favorite girl, Mobles, and I got gist for you. Kicking off my gist with, I love blowjobs, says David Doe. Like, why? Why would he be so naughty? The If Music Krona, David Doe, who was on an interview with Cool FM, answered questions in a funny manner. Well, he said he was passionate about If over Gobe. He chose gin over vodka. Gin, and then he got to describe his kind of woman. He said, I like them not too fat, not too tiny, but just in between. No wonder his baby mamas are so, you know, sexy and all that. The shocking part is, he chose BJ's over Steve Jobs. <sighs> well, that's a stake and it's all my business. On my next gist, Dami Crane has finally been granted bail. Yay, thank you. I'm so happy for him. Last weekend was an intense one for Dami Crane, who after showing off his luxurious lifestyle on Instagram, got arrested alongside a US promoter named Ebuka. Saucy said, Ebuka and Dami Crane booked tickets, which was going to Miami. But then the CEO of the company got suspicious of them and called the police. On their arrival, they got arrested. After investigations, seven credit cards were found on Dami, which three were in his name and the others were in someone else's name. They got detained. The good news is, after his pre-trial, he was granted bail for $7,500 and his court hearing happens to be June 23rd by 9.15 a.m. Oh, dummy, I pray you get out of this and, you know, come back to being dummy crane for the girls, them. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite one, dummy crane. First of all, I want to thank God that I want to use this medium to apologize to my family, my team, and my fans. You know, I was arrested by the Miami PD for fraud. I do not do fraud, and I do not partake in such activities. On my last chest, Ron Town smashes a fan over a tweet. Like, you don't want to be in Twitter, and then people are just, you know, mentioning you over one. It's not going to be funny. You might not like it. Last weekend, Twitter was on fire as a user with the name Billion Tweet made a tweet with a photo of a husband rejecting his wife's drink and then he captioned it. When a producer gives Runtown a beat which is different from Mad Over You beat. Like, whoa, did you have to do that? Well, and Runtown came back with his mad ass reply. I quote, No, that is when you were giving sense and you rejected it. Like, hmm. I don't even want to get a kind of reply. But then he, the, he tweeted back and was like, when you're giving a good tweet or a good acknowledgement that what you did is right, you don't reply. But this, you were not mentioned, you were not tagged, and then you gave me a reply. What you guys think? I think you should actually see and go over the tweets and get to see for yourself what you could comment about this very event. Did you think he was being rude? Do you think Runtown gave a wrong reply? Do you think Runtown is actually walking on the same mad over you bit? Just drop that to my comment section. So for more gist, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Soundoro and our social media platforms at Soundoro. Don't miss out.